cool. What's up everyone, it's Devin here with Make Anything. And as this video is posted, I'm actually gonna be traveling up the west coast, spending some time uh, camping, getting out of the house, eating. And uh, it's a 10 day trip, so I thought I would film this quick tip video beforehand just to hold you over. And it is a quick little tip. And if you don't own a 3D printer and never plan on owning a 3D printer, it's probably gonna be a boring one for you. But if you do have a printer, I think most of you will benefit from this video. So, it's about spatulas. If you own a 3D printer, you probably have a spatula because they come with most 3D printers. And that's good because they're the perfect tool for popping off stubborn prints off the build plate. It's great, everyone loves the spatula, but the problem is this tool wasn't originally designed for the purpose that we use it for. This was made for like applying filler on a wall or scraping off old paint, but it's not designed for 3D printing. So whether it's a cheap little spatula like this that comes with budget printers or a really nice one like this is Ortrax spatula I just got with my new printers, super soft handle, really nice to hold, but it still has the one problem, the pointy edges. Without fail, every spatula has these super pointy edges and it's just not good for this purpose because for one thing, if you try to use the edge to pop off a print, it's probably gonna damage that part of the print. And more so than that, it makes it really easy to damage your build surface, especially if it's glass. I've scratched more build plates than I'd care to admit and it's because of these sharp corners. So today we're just gonna fix that, simple enough. So, if you haven't guessed, the idea is to round out the corners here. And we're gonna start out by taking a permanent marker and drawing out about a one centimeter radius on both of these corners to give us a guide for once we start grinding this down. A metal file like this is gonna be a great affordable option for rounding out the corners of our spatula. It will take a bit of patience, but it's definitely a lot quicker than trying to sand it down. So that's the cheap way to do it, but this is the fast and fun way to do it. With a big grinder like this, it's really easy to quickly file away that metal and get the shape that I want. Plus there's sparks, so who doesn't love sparks? I'm also gonna hold the scraper at an angle like this and grind away at the corners a bit to make sure that those corners stay sharp. I want them to be round, but I also still want it to stay sharp and come to a fine edge. Here's the scraper after grinding and it looks really good, but I'm not quite done. It's still important to sand away at the edge of the scraper like this, with this pulling motion, to get rid of any burrs or little metal edges that resulted from grinding it down. If I don't get a really smooth edge, this modification will kind of backfire. So I'm gonna make sure to be patient with this step. I'll start with 120 grit sandpaper and then I'll switch to 220 to get a really nice clean edge. Lastly, I'm gonna do a little bit of an aesthetic modification by creating this brushed steel look using the corner of the sandpaper here and rubbing it in little circles and going all along the back of this scraper. This really isn't necessary, but it hides scratches. It's gonna get rid of that Sharpie and I kinda of just like how it looks. All right, that's it. So let's go ahead and compare these two spatulas on this cheap sheet of acrylic. Here's the original scraper and as you can see, if I just apply pressure wrong or hold the spatula at the wrong angle, I'm gonna get a pretty scratched up surface. Compare that to my rounded spatula and you'll notice there's a lot less scratching. It's definitely a big improvement. All right guys, that's really it. It's a super simple modification, but I'm telling you, it made a huge difference for me with this extremely important and valuable tool when it comes to 3D printing. Let me know if you guys like this tip. Let me know if you've done something like this yourself, if you have a different trick or a different idea. I know some people use razor blades. And of course, if you just have a good glass build plate, you might not even need a spatula. Cool, so I'll see you in the next video. It's gonna be a really fun project. So look forward to that. Make sure you're subscribed, like my videos, whatever. Until next time, I'm Devin. This is Make Anything. Don't forget to stay inspired.